G'day all, it's uh, Swampy here again. Um, yes, I know I'm actually in front of the camera this time, uh, not behind it, which is an interesting change. Excuse me. Coffee. Um, I've just finished work and uh, decided to come in and sit down and make this video, hence the work clothes. Um, yeah, you get that. Professional I am not when it comes to being in front of the camera. Um, yeah, anyway, bringing a Filipina lady from the Philippines to Australia. It's a rigmarole. Um, is probably the politest way of putting it um, with our various changes of government and there will change the rules without telling anybody uh, visa costs are in a constant state of flux how's that um, anyway we've been Beth, the Filipino lady, and myself have been going through this process for almost 12 months, um, going through the application process. Um, it's quite involved, but that's due to our circumstances where I'm going to be supporting her whilst she is here. So I had to prove that I can support her. That's cool. I can understand that. Um, we had to prove our uh, how long we have been uh, associated. I think that's the word we use. Um, bottom line, uh, I s had to send almost two kilos of paperwork, that's kilograms, sorry, um, two kilograms, almost two kilograms, it was 1.7 something or other, I can't remember, in total. Um, I mean, it's two lots of post, you know, well, I sent two lots of paperwork and in total it was almost two kilograms. Um, and this is just simply for a tourist visa. Uh, so, bottom line, we were successful. Now, the fact that we were successful is, uh, has made us very happy, uh, but uh, my the best piece of advice that I can give to anybody is find a reputable agent agency in the Philippines so that your lady, if you're intending on doing this, so that your lady can talk to an agency in the Philippines and they will assist her with all of the paperwork requirements, etc. Um, it reduces the confusion. If the agency is good at what they do, they will also be able to advise the lady of exactly what is needed um, for the best chance to get here. Um, yeah, so we found an agency uh, that has done this type of, or a similar type of situation before. Basically, they 
they can get visas for people. So yeah, they specialise in work visas. We just wanted a tourist visa, but because of our situation, they were willing to change a few things. They, they, they knew the basics of what to get. The Australian government uh, website for the embassy in the Philippines is sort of helpful, but it's confusing because they have changed how they accept payments um, and they use, <laughs> here's a thought, they use an outside agency to collect all their funds. Hmm. Funny, you know, I thought my taxes were paying the wages of the people at the embassy. Never mind, that's another story. Don't go there. Uh, yes, anyway, it's all been approved, which is bloody fantastic. And uh, the airfare has been purchased which is great. The ticket has been purchased. We are very happy people. So, we're happy, obviously. Um, she is almost on her way, basically. We are biding our time until she boards the plane. Um, so, thought I'd give you or a little bit of background as to the fact that we have been doing all of this for almost a year uh, to get her here and when she gets here we'll post some videos of her experiences here in Australia. Uh, two purposes, one it's a great record for us, um, two it's a method of her family also being able to see what she's doing, what she's up to, how she feels, um, and how she and I interact with each other. All right, you'll have a really great week and uh, you'll see a video of Beth coming through the airport gates very soon. Bye for now.